Hey guys, in this video, I'll be sharing what I've prepared for our breakfast today. So I'll be preparing bacon and eggs. My hubby and I are a subscriber and we watch Dr. Eric Berg videos. Dr. Berg is big on keto and intermittent fasting and we really want to follow his advice. But to be honest, Tim and I are really not ready for a full-blown keto diet. So here we are trying to do keto halfway and still eating some foods that we enjoy but will, yeah, future tense, but will cut back on it little by little. Yeah, we really want to have a healthier eating lifestyle, but what is healthy if you are not happy, right? <laughs> so our resolution is just to do it slowly. The ketogenic or keto diet is a very low-carb, high-fat diet. Keto diet causes your body to run on what are called ketones instead of sugar from carbohydrates like rice, pasta, or sugary foods. Ketones are a type of acid formed when your body begins burning stored or dietary fat for fuel instead of carbs. The goal is to switch your body from burning sugar fuel to fat fuel. Among other pork products, bacon is high in fat, making it the ideal candidate for a keto-friendly, low-carb breakfast. But you gotta make sure that the bacon you choose does not have added sugars or additives. Organic bacon is a good choice if you can find it. Eggs are a very popular keto food present in most keto breakfast recipes. They're a great source of protein and fat while remaining low in carbs. One large egg contains only 0.4 gram of net carbs, but the concern many people have is the cholesterol. This is a common misconception. We can actually eat two eggs or more every day. It does raise your cholesterol level, but it raises the HDL, and that's the good cholesterol, not the bad cholesterol. It has been proven that it does not affect cholesterol on body. Also, aside from eggs are being cheap, eggs are highly nutritious sources of protein. They contain a range of vitamins and minerals including vitamin A, vitamin B and B12, vitamin D, iodine, and folate. Tim and I always include eggs on our meal every day. For me, I eat at least two eggs a day, while Tim usually have two to four eggs a day. He would eat two eggs for breakfast and the other two eggs for when he makes some banana smoothie. He mixes the other two eggs on his smoothie. In keto, black coffee is best. Sometimes we drink it straight black, but mostly we add milk on our freshly brewed coffee to help alter its texture and flavor because, yeah, it's bitter. We can tolerate it at times, but hey, we want some creamier, milky coffee. Also, Tim and I are actually milk drinkers. We both love milk, but since black coffee is highly suggested for its health benefits, then we try to incorporate it with our milk. We also add some fiber on our drinks because um, it's an antioxidant and help aids digestion. From time to time, we will have waffles. This one we are using right now is super processed flour. These are the Igu waffles from Costco and yeah, it's not keto friendly, but we like it, so why not? But recently, we found out that we, re we really don't have to give up eating waffles even if we want to do keto diet. Um, moving forward, when the egg waffles we bought from Costco are all consumed, we will be making our own waffles using almond flour. Yes, that is way healthier than using processed, ready-made, or using refined flour. Almond flour contains far fewer car carbohydrates than traditional grain-based flour. We really don't have to totally give up eating delicious food. And every now and then, we can spoil or treat ourselves. Eating healthy and diet doesn't have to be boring and feels like a punishment. Um, it should be just moderation and discipline. 
and always remember in whatever you do it must be something you are happy and willing and it will just come naturally it won't feel like you are on a strict diet losing weight is not a race so just eat healthy be more active and do exercise so in our case um, we do our form of ex exercise is the gardening and yeah the digging so and other outdoor activities like walking so yeah um, that's a good exercise so yeah just um, eat healthy stay happy and you lose weight eventually in my case I was have 176 pounds last April 22 to so far this October 22 to I am down to 146 so I have lost 30 pounds so far mm, but for now I have reached a plateau because I got stuck to 146 and yeah that's what I'm trying to break I, ha I have to break that plateau but yeah we're getting there so this is how we start our day we eat protein rich and high fat breakfast and as much as possible low carb and as we are eating this is our time as well to have some chit chat or have good conversation as a couple it is important that we always take time to sit and spend time with our partner and talk about future goals what we can do in the present and how we can achieve it as partners living a healthy lifestyle is just one of our common goal and it's both for our future good